Hi, I'm Savannah. And I'm Hector. And we are so glad you're here today. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. We're going to be learning about some incredible things today. But hold on now, what do you mean? I mean, we are going to be learning about some amazing stories in the Bible, and we're going to see what God was teaching us through those stories. Yeah, well, I guess that's okay. But we're going to first sing a song. What kind of song? A worship song. Uh, can I pick it? Yeah, sure. What do you want to sing? You'll see. It's my favorite. But, um, uh, don't tell anyone that. Especially not Winston. Okay. Kids, stand up and let's sing Hector's favorite song to God. Yep. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me. You are right beside me every day. Great singing and dancing. You can sit down now. Hector, that was a great song. Yeah, yeah, it was a good one. But again, don't tell anyone I like songs, okay? Okay. Especially not Winston. I won't, but speaking of Winston, I think he had some things he wanted to tell the kids. You mean, like about the time he broke my boombox and it played the same song for five days straight? No, I think he wanted to tell us about our word of the day. Oh, well, that's better. What's the word of the day? Well, we're about to find out. Friends, put on your listening ears. And that thing that, uh, you know, that you put on your head that helps you think? What's that called? A thinking cap? Yeah, go ahead and throw that on too. 
And let's join Pastor Stephen Winston for our Word of the Day. Hey! It's Word of the Day with Pastor Steve and Winston! Thank you, Winston. You you okay? What's I'm the matter? Whoa. Are well, you are you dizzy or something? No, no. Why do you ask? Well, because you're stumbling around so much. Um, I'm I'm actually I'm trying to rollerblade. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, well, maybe. Uh, what? Well, I really like to roller skate, and what you are doing is definitely not that. It's not. Oh, I know. I want to get my skates, and I teach you how to do it. That would be awesome. All right, hang on. Okay, just hurry. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Wow, Winston, you're really good. Okay, okay, okay. Now, switch and do the same thing with your other foot. Okay, got it. Yeah! Great All job, right. Pastor Steve. All right, very good. Hey, Winston, you know what? You are a really good teacher. You know what we call someone who's able to learn from a teacher? What? We say that that person is teachable. Oh, well, what's that, Pastor Steve? Well, when we're teachable, that means that we're willing and able to listen to someone and then do what they instruct us to do. When we're teachable, we get the benefit of learning something new. Hey, that's how I learned roller skate. I was teachable and I listened to Hector when he taught me. Wait a minute, Hector can roller skate? Boy, can he ever! Really? All right. Well, Winston, now let's skate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. I guess Winston knows some stuff. Yeah, so we know what the word of the day means now. And now, Hector? Uh, what? We're going to sing another song. More songs? Yep. Yeah, all right, what's this one? It's Psalm 7714. It's our Bible verse. Okay, let's do it. Great. Friends, stand up with us. And let's sing this here song. singing and dancing. You all sit down now. Now that song told us that God is the God of great wonders. Yeah, and? And he is going to show us just how wonderful he is right now. Wait, well, how's that? We are going to go into the wild woods of Scuppeton and hear a tale from the wild wood treehouse. Oh, uh -huh, well, that sounds interesting. I mean, I mean, I guess. Yep, we're going to hear a wild story from the Bible. Are you ready? 
Sure, why not? What about you kids? Are you ready? I think they are. Then put on those thinking caps and listening ears and let's watch Tales from the Wildwood Treehouse. Deep in the wild woods of Scupperton, there is a place where stories are more than what they seem. For all of them truly happened long, long ago. Few are able to see this magical place, but if you look closely, you will find a treehouse filled with imagination and wonder. So listen well as we hear Tales from the Wildwood Treehouse. It's not in here. Melly? Who said that? It's me, Nikki. I'm over here. Melly, what are you doing? I'm looking for the coin. What coin? The Bible said that there was a coin in a fish's mouth. So, I'm looking in the fish's mouth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Huh? I don't think there's one in there. I mean, I'm not 100% positive, but I am 98, uh, 97% sure. Melly? Yeah? This is a stuffed fish. You know, I thought it was a little strange too, but what do I know? It says a coin in the fish's mouth, so... No, 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 here. Why don't you just show me what story you're talking about? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, it's right there. Maybe the fish has a piggy bank? There once was a man named Peter who followed Jesus. One day they arrived at a town and there were tax collectors there. The tax collectors came to Peter and asked, doesn't your teacher pay the temple tax? Peter replied, yes, he does. Then Peter went into the house where Jesus was. Jesus asked him, What do you think, Peter? Do kings tax their own people or the people they have conquered? They tax people they have conquered, said Peter. Well then, Jesus said, the people are free. However, we don't want to offend them. So go down to the lake and throw in a line. Open the mouth of the first fish you catch and you will find a large silver coin. Take it and pay the tax for both of us. See? Peter got the coin right out of his mouth. Let me see that fish. No, that's not what the story's about. Well, sure it is. The story says there's a coin in a fish's mouth. So that's what it's all about. But that's not what it's really about. Jesus is trying to teach Peter something. Hmm, Jesus is a teacher? Yeah, he is. Jesus used the fish to teach Peter about never doing anything that would keep someone from wanting to hear about Jesus. Ah, so he did all of that to teach Peter? Yep. Wow, he must have really cared about Peter to go to that much trouble for him. He did, and he cares about us just as much. Hmm, so no coin in the stuffed fish? I don't think so. Hey, maybe I got the wrong fish. Wait, what? You know, Nikki, I don't think there's a coin in this one either. You want to take a look? No, I'll take your word for it, Melly. So now you have heard the tales from the Wildwood Treehouse. And here is a secret. Every story from the Bible is true. So keep your eyes open for miracles because God will show you his wonderful power in the most unexpected of ways. Are you ready to live out some tales of your own? Well, that was one wild story. And it really happened. See, I told you God is wonderful and amazing. Yep. But even though he is a big, great God who did amazing things, he still wants to be your friend. You can still talk to him whenever you want, and he will always be there for you. Uh, really? Yep, God is always with you too, kids. Remember that. Well, see you next time to learn more about the wonderful things God has done and is doing. See you later. Bye.